Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of products and random things that I've been loving recently. I got a new camera, so I'm super excited. I hope the quality looks good. I'm going to be messing around with it a lot for sure, but um, yeah, I'm super excited about my new camera, and I haven't filmed in a while because I used to film on my phone, and my phone wasn't, wasn't letting me film anymore. So it was a whole thing, but now I'm back. I have a new apartment. I have a makeup room. It's kind of an office, but I'm referring it to referring to it as my makeup room. So I'm gonna have so much fun filming in here and showing you guys everything. And so I'm just really pumped and I have a ton of products to show you, a ton of just random things I wanted to talk about, um, just a bunch of favorites. So this is basically October and November favorites and we're into December so it's kind of December as well a little bit but I'll probably do a separate video for maybe December, January. Maybe I'll do it that way every two months so I can have a bunch of stuff ready to show you guys. So I hope you enjoy and let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with makeup products. I have a few Thrive Cosmetics products I wanted to talk about first and so I have a skincare item, the Overnight Sensation Brightening Sleep Mask from Thrive Cosmetics, and it is a amazing, amazing sleeping mask. I use it probably once or twice a week, and I've just really been enjoying it. It is very brightening, and it's very moisturizing, and the smell of it is actually my favorite part. I don't know how to describe the smell, but it's so clean and just a really, really nice smell and a beautiful product. I really have been enjoying this guy. Um, another favorite from Thrive Cosmetics, I went completely through the Liquid liquid Bomb Lip Treatment and there's like none left in there. Super, super amazing and moisturizing and smoothing on the lips and I would use this, I had this on at my desk over here for work and I would just put this on you know throughout the day and I went through it kind of fast because of that but I love it at in the morning I love it at night for a lip treatment really really nice and then another favorite is actually the pumpkin spice latte flavor of that I actually used this up first I had this as well and I really enjoyed this one as well I think I like this one better than the original just because it this one had like no flavor and this one has like a hint of pumpkin spice, which I really enjoy. So I have to give it to this one as well. And the last Thrive Cosmetics product is the Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix Brow Gel in Serena. This is a dark, dark brunette black shade. And um, I don't have it on my brows today, but I love this for days when I'm not wearing much makeup. I like to just kind of brush it through my brows and um, it's just a little spoolie or like, I don't know, yeah, little tiny brush there. And it's just nice because you could build up the color payoff, but really it just gives you a little bit of color, shapes the brows. And I feel like I love wearing this and mascara and running out the door if I'm not doing a full makeup look. I enjoy this brow product. Um, another brow product for when I'm actually doing more makeup than just running out the door is the Anastasia uh, brow powder duo in ebony. I love this camera. It's focusing so nicely. Um, I have like two pans in here, but I absolutely love this guy. It's such a good brow powder. I This is like a favorite for years and years and years, but I wanted to mention it again because I've been reaching for it a lot and I just like to take a little angled brush and do my brows. I can show you which brush I use <laughs> just like an angled brow brush and I like to just shape in my brows and then use a clear brow gel on top but I just wanted to mention this because it's such a favorite and I haven't mentioned it in a while some eyeshadow palettes um one that I've been reaching for a lot is the Natasha Denona Peak palette this is a really gorgeous neutral palette and we me and my boyfriend recently moved which I can probably do a whole video on that maybe a chatty get ready with me let me know if you guys would be interested in that but um but anyways we recently moved and I kind of packed this with me I had this with me throughout the whole um 
journey of our moving and I really reach for it a lot. I did hit pan in this cream shade right here. It's like a creamy white shade and this is a really gorgeous shimmer and I like these for every day. This is really pretty. I think I wore these on Thanksgiving. So just really pretty shades, um, everyday type of shades and I feel like Natasha Denona's formula is really amazing and so I was just reaching for this guy a lot. So I wanted to shout it out. And then the palette I'm actually wearing on my eyes today, let me zoom in a little bit. The palette I'm wearing uh, today is the Marc Jacobs Cherific Cherry Palette. It is adorable with the little cherries on the front. And here is what the inside looks like. It is just kind of some neutral shades, but mostly these like cherry tones. And I really enjoy it and I've been reaching for it a lot. I found it at TJ Maxx a while back and I really um, was super excited to to find it and it was like 20 bucks and I've been reaching for it a lot. This is my second Marc Jacobs palette and I really um, love the formula very like I don't know it's just very smooth and you can build it up but it's pigmented I don't know very impressed with that palette. Another Marc Jacobs favorite is this little mascara. It is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And this came in a set that my best friend Nikki got me and I really enjoyed it. It was just a nice volumizing um, mascara. I'd say a little more volumizing than lengthening, but really nice. It isn't my favorite mascara ever. That would have to be my Liquid Lash Extension Mascara but um, from Thrive Cosmetics, but I really enjoyed using this and I wanted to shout it out. A favorite, another favorite I used up here is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. And this was really, really nice. I was so sad when I used this up because I feel like for me, toners don't feel like they do much. But this one, I felt like it was doing something. It really kind of cleaned my pores out and I felt really good about using it. It smelled really good. I really enjoy pharmacy. Yeah, I don't know. I really enjoyed this product. This was a BoxyCharm uh, product that I got in my BoxyCharm, but really enjoyed that as well. While we're talking about skincare, I found this little skincare headband at TJ Maxx and I was super pumped and I bought it and I look a little silly when I put it on. It's like <laughs> kind of cute but um I wanted to shout it out because I've been using it it's in my bathroom and I've been using it every time I do my skincare I like to put this on just to keep my hair away while I do my skincare so wanted to shout this out from TJ Maxx in the little like bath area or you know bath and body type of section in TJ Maxx another TJ Maxx fi find was this OPI nail polish in chiffon of you it's a very cute name and it's kind of like a pearly pink it's a very light pink and it's very like shimmery and pearly I don't know how to explain it but I've been really enjoying this one I want to put it on my nails I don't have nothing on my nails right now but I've been wearing it on my toes and I really enjoy this nail polish it was really cheap from TJ Maxx as well um so I think that was all Let's see, I think that was all the makeup favorites and um, products like that. So we can get into some random favorites. So one I wanted to mention was Hanukkah. My boyfriend celebrates Hanukkah and it was our first year in an apartment together celebrating Hanukkah. So we got a menorah and it was just really, really nice and such a fun time celebrating that holiday with him. So I really wanted to shout that out. Also moving, we just moved to a new state and a new apartment and it's been crazy but really exciting and fun at the same time so I wanted to mention that more to come on that maybe but um but really really I think that's a favorite kind of scary but really fun so far um some random favorites let's keep going oh a movie favorite is My Fair Lady it was on Netflix I hope it's still on there with Audrey Hepburn. I love Audrey Hepburn. She is a favorite of mine all the time, an idol of mine. But uh, we, me and my boyfriend watched My Fair Lady and it was really 
such a cute movie and we both really enjoyed it. I would recommend that movie. And then show, I really enjoyed Emily in Paris. We watched that as well and I thought it was really cute and I'm super excited for the new season coming soon. Um, but okay, let's get into more more products here or more items. I have this Vintage Doll Cosmetics little pen. It has a little diamond on the top and it says Vintage Doll Cosmetics. And sadly, I went through this. I completely used up all the ink in here. But I have another one from my mom and I think this is just some random brand. But it's the same little like diamond pen. So I've been loving these it just makes me feel more fancy in my everyday life <laughs> um then for some christmas decorations i found these little trees at target and it came in a bundle of like a bunch of them so i have them all over the house or all i mean all over the apartment and here is a pink one and a little purple one and I just have them in the makeup room I have them in the living room in our bedroom you know me and my boyfriend's bedroom I have them in the kitchen I have them everywhere they came in like two shades of pink one shade of purple and then red and they, so there's just a bunch of different sizes and I can't remember how much they were they might have been like 15 bucks for all of them but they're so cute and they're so little and I love little cute things and I have them all over the house and I feel like it just makes everything more Christmassy around or just more like holiday-esque so loving those <laughs> from Target. Um, then I have my pink Christmas tree that normally is on my vanity but I took it off to show you guys. I got it on Wayfair and it lights up. Let me <laughs> show you. <laughs> It lights up and it's really, really cute. Um, let me see if I can turn it on for you guys. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? It's kind of small. I think it's like two feet or three feet. But I want to um, tell you some of my favorite ornaments. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. It is a little perfume bottle. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? This I got from last year from my friend Meredith. But isn't that the cutest little lipstick ornament? This I got this year um, from Walmart. It is a little silver sparkly carriage with a little like gem inside. I love that. And then this is this year's Tim Hortons ornament. My mom collects Tim Hortons ornaments, so I have a bunch scattered around here. But this is this year's, so love that. And I think that's all the ones I wanted to highlight, but super, super fun favorite. I've been loving having that displayed and putting it on in the morning and stuff like that, so love that. All right, another favorite. My boyfriend got me this from Hobby Lobby. We both saw it at the same, he kind of pointed it out um, and I just fell in love. It is this little pink um, carriage and like how adorable is that? I don't know if you can really tell that it's like pink and kind of shimmery, but it is so cute. And I've been looking for, I love car like little carriages like this or horse. I don't know how to explain it. I love this and or carousels and um, I never found one that I liked enough like at antique stores but I found we found this one and it's like a ring box so you can kind of put jewelry in the bottom but I just have it on display and I just absolutely love it. It's so cute and girly and oh my gosh I absolutely love it so I had to shout that out. He did buy it for me. Um, from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has some great stuff. I was so impressed with that ornament I showed you, the perfume one, and then this as well. And then one more thing from Hobby Lobby is this blanket I got. Wait, wrong way. It is so cute. It has a bunch of lips on it and lipsticks. And I thought, when I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I said I have to get it because it's perfect for the makeup room, obviously, <laughs> so I had to get that. Love it. Super soft, too. Um, this this is random from Halloween. I never showed you guys, but I did this. Let's hope it doesn't fall off. I did this Glampire, and <laughs> I did it with real makeup, but on a piece of paper, which was a challenge, let me tell you, but this was so fun to do. I listened to some Halloween music, and I wanted to use my Ben Nye blood that I have for stage makeup and so this is what I came up with 
kind of creepy but i wanted to show you because that was for halloween and i never showed any you know i never showed you guys um an antique favorite this is a crazy funny story but i found this little pink house in an antique store in our new state that we moved in moved to and literally this is a pink house that is really close to the college i went to and um we i've taken pictures in front of this pink house and so it was so bizarre and i absolutely loved this house like it's an actual house um and i absolutely loved it back in college and so i found this at an antique store very far away from my college town so it was just so wild to find this and of course i bought it and it's just the cutest thing it has like words on the back of where it's from and so it's i know it's actually the house that i um have seen and visited and so it was just a really cool moment and such a fun story and i'm just so it just it makes me think that like you're meant to find things or things are meant to happen to you and so i was really i was just really pumped to find that um if you're if you went to my college you know you know what i'm talking about you probably have seen that house um another antique favorite i absolutely love vintage makeup and vintage advertise vintage makeup advertising and i found this bad boy at an antique store before we moved and i was just so so excited it is called um or it is from max factor and it has lucille ball on it which i thought was pretty cool and i got this for like three bucks but i have it in the packaging but it says the new lipstick from hollywood and it has like I don't know, little like women next to the lipsticks and it says like what to wear if you're a brunette, if you're blonde and I just love that so much. It's from 1947. But yeah, Max Factor is a really cool brand. I feel like it's really exciting to, I was really excited to find this. So um, yeah, I wanted to shout this out. And um yeah is that it let me make sure i said everything let's see i showed you yeah oh my gosh i think that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy little video i'm super excited to make more videos you'll see a lot more from me hopefully soon just because now i have my new camera and um i have a lot of different video ideas for sure but Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like the video if you want to see more favorites videos in the future. Um, follow me on my Instagram, Shake Up Makeup Shan, to see more girly makeup vintage content. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.